Today I'll be sharing with you five content ideas for your food businesses. Now, the first one is share your brand story. Don't just post your meals without allowing us to connect to the human side of the business. So tell us, how did you begin your business? What inspired you to start your food business? What are the challenges that you've been facing? Let us connect with you. Number two, post reviews. Now there are a lot of ways you can ask your client to send you reviews. One of the ways is, when you send your product or your meals to them, send a message to follow up. Oh, hi, Ma, have you gotten your product? Have you gotten your meals? Did they arrive in one piece? And go further by asking, how was the meal? Did you enjoy it? Now, the thing with asking for reviews is sometimes you get bad reviews, and bad reviews are not so bad because you can use it to improve the quality of your services. And there's just no way around this, you have to ask for it. And you can use the good reviews to post on your page and that would encourage other people to order because nobody wants to be the first to come and order and have a bad experience. Number three, post videos. Now that's two different types of videos you can post. If you're into um, food production, food packaging and the rest, you can show your followers, you can show your customers videos on how they can use your product. So recipe videos will always get you others because people don't just want to buy the products you understand they want to they are buying the products for its usefulness in their lives you understand so show them how to use your honey for the breakfast show them how to use your tiger nut milk for meals etc etc now if you probably are into jello fries and um, I found soup, normal meals you understand you can do videos of yourself prepping the meals like just imagine a video of afan soup while all the steam all the freshness and then you're just turning the pot and then you take zooming <laughs> zooming to get the you get what i'm trying to say and that is a video that can help you get customers help you get others because you are creating that mouth watering that hunger effect with your videos so create video content video content is very very essential for food business owners now the fourth content idea is you can ask clients to send you pictures and videos of the meals and the product so let's say a client ordered granola from you and Greek yogurt and you can ask them to share a picture of when they're about to eat it or a video of them putting the granola and the Greek yogurt in a bowl with fruits and all of that now most clients may not have the time or whatever or should I say motivation to send you this picture or this video so what you can do is motivate them with a prize so you can say okay if you send us a picture or a video of the meals or the products we are going to give you 10% off your next order that way the client is motivated to send you pictures and videos even without your accent now the fifth content idea is okay before i go on please take some time and subscribe to my channel and like this content if you find it useful thank you you can also share it and leave your questions in the comment section if you have any now the fifth content is going to be two in one i'll give you a bonus tip so number five every time you you send out your product every time you send out your your meals take a video of them take a picture of them so if let's say you have delivery days for tuesday wednesday and saturday before you send them out do a video oh this five bowls of jello fries are going to clients xyz in lekki or in a jar or in ikeja or this carton of um crayfish is going to a very lovely client you know should you, you understand let your um let your followers let your customers see that you are in business you understand this content is very easy and convenient to create because i mean you're already doing it so just take out your phone and record the process now to the bonus tip you know how food business owners wait for people to come into their dm before they will release the menu or the product list with prizes in 2021 avoid that at all costs prepare your menu prepare your product list using canva or whatever app you want to use and then make sure that it is on your page it's on your highlights if you're using instagram it's on your page let the client come to your page and see what you have to offer if you have different menus for different days of the week let it be on your page don't wait for them to enter your dm and ask nobody has the time 
to be asking you okay what meals do you have how much do they cost etc etc so let all your products and the prices in a list format let all your meals and the prices in a list format let they be on your page all right guys thank you for listening thank you for watching